Have you been thinking about getting into Forex trading? Forex trading opens up a world of opportunity for those who know how to do it properly. You can experience financial freedom and reap tremendous rewards for your trading skills. Unfortunately, many programs make big promises and throw students into the trading market without the proper knowledge and expertise to succeed. Fortunately, there is a solution. Great White FX Academy is the best place to start your Forex trading journey with the tools, resources, and education necessary to help you thrive in the market. Great White FX is an online Forex training platform that provides technical training that will help you succeed. It is of the utmost importance to have a proper qualitative education to participate in Forex trading, and that is exactly what Great White FX focuses on. You can reach us on Facebook at Great White FX and Forex Educational Academy, on Instagram at Great White FX, on Twitter at Great White FX, or call us at 234 803 nine three zero six one eight 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 have you been thinking about getting into forex trading forex trading opens up a world of opportunity for those hello hello good evening Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. If you can hear me clearly and see my screen, please can you type in yes to the chat box? If you can good evening, me. good evening. Good evening, if you can. Hear me clearly and see my screen, please. Can you type in yes into the chat box so that we can start off? If you can hear me clearly and see my screen, please. Can you type in yes into the chat box? Okay. So, good evening and welcome. So, welcome to today's um, currency review for the 9th of uh, December to the 13th with great white effect. So, uh, without taking so much of your time, Let's start off with what the week has. So, looking at the fundamental calendar for the week, uh, Monday to Monday seems Monday Tuesday seems a little bit calm, but from Wednesday the fireworks start. Wednesday we have FOMC on Wednesday, that's on the 11th. Then on Thursday, this is serious fireworks. We have sweet uh, National Bank monetary policy statement. We just have to be very, very careful with this. The Swiss National Bank, one of their monetary policy, hit the market by surprise, and that caused a black day in the forex trading market. So you need to pay attention to it. Then uh, the Euro monetary policy statement is coming up by 1.5 on Thursday. Then I think we have um, GBP parliamentary elections all day. So this is going to affect basically the Euro GDP and the Euro GDP's outcome would determine the effect on the other GDP pairs. So we need to be very careful. So most especially from Wednesday, you need to start watching your positions on GDP pairs. So that out of the way, let's get down into business, see what the chart has for us this week. So as always, we're going to start with the dollar index. So looking at the dollar index, it's more like a range situation here, more like a range situation. So the storyline on the dollar index is this. If the dollar index stays below 9781, it's still going to drop lower into this zone. Most likely it will drop into this. But should you get a situation whereby the dollar index goes above this zone, then you might see something like that. So the line in the sand on this pair should basically be 97.94. As long as price is below 97.94, you may see further weakness in the dollar index. That's what we need to be aware of. So the next pair we're going to look at is gold. So looking at gold, well, gold 
might still go down a bit. Although there's this trend line height giving it a little bit of cushion, it's reacted from this zone here. So basically, basically, if this support trend line holds, then you might see something like this. So this support trend line holds on gold, then you're going to see something like this on gold. If it fails, you wait for a retest and then move lower. So that's the situation on gold. For now, gold, if it stays below this zone, that's 143.84. 1483 44 to 1494 25. As long as it stays below this, you might see further returns. So, the next pair we're going to look at is the USDCHF. So, looking at the USDCHF, it's sitting above this support area here, as you can see one, two, three. So, the deal on this pair is if it might come in here and move higher, or it might move up and do something like that. If it stays below, um, the line in the sun for this pair is 99.26. As long as price stays below here, it might still drop lower. But a close above this place on the four hour will send it higher towards any of these zones to the top side. So the next pair we're going to look at is Euro USD. So looking at the Euro USD, looking at the Euro USD. Well, Euro USD reacted from this zone here, this little zone here, and it dropped. So now the situation is this. If it stays below 110.72, that if the Euro USD stays below this zone, it's going to drop lower. But should it close above here and find support here, then you might see it take out this falling trend line. So that's the situation on the Euro USD. So if it stays below here, it might drop lower. So as market opens, you just wait and see what happens at this area. If this area rejects price, then price might go lower. So the next pair we're going to look at is Euro GBP. Euro GBP has been dropping, dropping, and dropping. Now let's look at this Euro GBP. It's something I want to specifically point out. If you look at the Euro GBP on the monthly time frame, from this swing low to this swing high here, this most recent swing high, if we use a FIP, the 38.2 comes in here. And that 38.2 is at, uh, let me see, 84.12. And the close for Friday, price is just slightly above there. And you have this little structure here. So that's where you know where price is. So now, looking at this pair now, Looking at the Euro GBP, if this level holds, price might move higher. Although it still has some obstacles, it has this channel that it tried to hold, it has the silver one. But should this level hold, you might see something move up like this. Then price may do this, they move higher. The first thing that will tell you that there's a bottom here is when you see a close back above this low here, above um, 84.72. So that is the low for 2019 that was broken. A close back above that low, basically four hour daily, will tell you that there is a bottom here and you might be looking to see price move higher. As with the election coming up next, this, when this Thursday, there's a possibility that might happen. So the next step we're going to look at is the GBP, um, GBP USD. So looking at the GBP USD, it broke above a range top. It broke above a range top. Let me pull up this chart on the daily. That range top is here, almost 1.300 at somewhere here. So that comes in approximately here. This is the zone here. So if this pair starts to drop, there's a possibility it may test here. If here holds that resistance, it's going to come down to lower. As long as price stays above this 1.3 thousand, there's a potential it might move back up. Because if you look at this chart, this was the range area and price has broken above it. So if you're looking for a long opportunity, 
1.3,000 in my visit area. But if price should close back below 1.3,000 on the daily, then that might mean that this break is a false break. So you then wait for a break, retest, and then move on. So the next thing we're going to look at is the GBP uh, CHF. This is not the GBP CHF. It's physically bullish, but from at a resistance area now, that a four hour resistance zone that is between 1.34 and 1.366. So the storyline is the price stays below here, you might see price come down to this area. So these are possible support areas on this day. As you can see, this is the low for Friday. If it breaks this loop and retests this area, you might see price come down. As if you see something like this, then it might come down to this area. This would be a good area to take a long position, all things being equal. As if you get the right kind of bullish evidence here, you take a long position. So the next one we're going to be looking at is the USD QPY. Looking at the USD QPY, seems to be in a kind of a channel. You can see it seems to be in a kind of a channel. Uh, the lower level of the channel seems to be holding. As you can see, it seems to be holding. So, this is the situation now. There is a resistance and support zone down here. If price comes down to this area, and this area holds a support, then you might see price run back up. But should price break above this area, it has also this area to look at. So most and this pair, I'll just advise to trade it off the uh, levels highlighted because for now the USD JPY doesn't seem to have a very very um, strong directional movement, but it is sitting at the trend line. So that we need to factor. So the next thing we're going to look at is the euro yen. So look at the euro yen. Euro yen broke this trend line and it's sitting in this support spot. So if it stays above 120.06, then you might see something like this. Sorry. If it stays above this area, 120.06, then you might see it come up to retest this area. If this area holds as resistance, then you might see price go back up. Well, if this area fails to hold as resistance, then you might see something like this on this thing. So, the next thing we're going to look at is the pound yen. So, looking at the pound yen, the pound yen is at the major area. Major area here. Pound yen is at the major area. We have this rising channel. The price rejected there. And price closed below 140. So the storyline now, man, if you get a close below uh, this zone here, you might see something like this. If you get a close below 142.50, let's use 142.50. If you get a close below 142.50 on the one hour or four hour, then you might see it come down to your test. And if this kind of holds, then you might see price move higher. You might see price move higher on this thing. But as long as price stays below 143.24, you may see further weakening in price. But that will be confirmed if this channel will be broken and be tested and it says that the weakness, then we might see further weakening in price. So looking at the other pair, the other pair we're going to be looking at is uh, AUDUS. So the AUD USD is in a kind of consolidatory range. If it breaks above 0 0.5861, it has this zone here. It has this zone to take care of. If it gets rejected from this zone, it's going to go lower. But should it break below 6815, that it close below 6815, I send it down to this area. Send it down to this area. So for now, a price seems to be ranging. Let's get a view of this from daily point of view. So as you can see, seems just to be ranging. Although it closed bullish on the weekly, it could say this is bullish engulfing on the weekly, 
most often than not, this kind of moves, you might get a little bit of correction to a move higher. So that's what we just need to be aware of. So we might just get a bit of a correction in a move higher. Or better still, you could use your feet to please start from the low of last week to the high of last week. And you can see the 38.2 comes in here. So if, it, if this 38.2 holds upon the text, then you might see price cost. Because looking at it on the weekly, you seems to have kind of a bullish angle. And see one, two, these two candles were involved. So the next thing we're going to look at is euro AUD. So looking at the euro AUD, the euro AUD seems to be at the sort of a support structure. Seems to be at the sort of a support structure. This is a four hour chart. Seems to be sitting above a support structure. As long as this support level holds, it might move higher. But should this level fail, then you may see price coming to test this zone. So let's see how this pair is looking like, how it close up on the weekly is bearish. You can see, close up the weekly on the bearish. So most often than not, what I see is something like this. You just need to use your feet to switch over to your weekly time frame. As you see, when you switch over to your weekly time frame. Uh, you can either use this single weekly candle from the high to the low. You place your fib like this and, and wait to see what happens. Just you place it like this and wait to see what happens. That's only the weekly candle of last week. So then you look for, because this is a bearish move, and you look for correction move, then if it gives you a rejection, then you join. So the next pair we're going to look at is the USD card. So looking at the USD card, looking at the USD card, well, Friday closed as a bullish engulfing, but there's a structure here. Let me switch to line card. There's a structure here. There's a structure here. This area is an apex that was broken. So if price doesn't go back above here, it might drop lower. But if you look at this pair, this pair is not directional. It's not like green. Here. So you just need to know where the range top is and the range bottom is and take your trade around those areas. So if price fails to go above here, it might come back down. It might come back down to this area for a retest. So uh, that seems to be it. Let me look at the NASDAQ 100. So looking at the NASDAQ 100, price is back up. And if you look at this pair, where price is, this is a far chart. There seems to be an apex here that will move. So as long as price stays below here on the daily closing, it might go back to one. As the first, as this place, this uh, 84.06 is going to be resistant, this is going to be support. So if this support fails, it's going to go lower. But if it closes above here, then you might be looking at a challenge of this high here. If that high fails to hold that resistance, then you might be seeing price going for new high. That's for the NASDAQ 100. So, Thank you for taking your time to attend. Um, if you have any comments, these are my social media handles. I'll be glad to answer any of your questions. And uh, registration for the next, for the January um, six week masterclass is ongoing. If you would like to register for it, you could reach across to me on any of these platforms. Like either you give me a call or you reach out to me on Telegram and I'll be glad to answer your questions. So once again, I thank you all for taking your time to attend. I wish you all a beautiful trading week. The video for this class will be posted on the YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel. Plan your trade to read your plan. So when you go to YouTube, you look out for it and this uh, recording will be posted here. So once again, I thank you all for coming. I wish you all a beautiful night and a blessed trading day. Thank you all.